salut tout le monde, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la suite du let's play de The Witcher 3 sur PC. La dernière fois nous étions arrêtés ici après avoir parlé un peu avec le baron. On va tout de suite continuer. Donc j'espère que vous allez bien, que vous pouvez le voir parce que... Moi oui ça va. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look. Oh. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrett, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll break through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling, I'll calm it with magic. <laughs> Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Good mercy from God. Back to the fortress. What? This? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lover kit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Allez, vas-y, je te suis, mon cher. C'est vraiment pas très beau, ça, hein. Il va sûrement s'agiter deux ou trois fois. Il va falloir que je le calme avec la magie. Allez, après cette porte, qu'on parie. Genre le château il est pas assez loin quoi. Voilà oh là. Regardez. Je peux pas sauvegarder là, je peux, je peux toujours pas, d'accord. Et là, toujours pas. Allez, attaquez-nous là, en plein milieu. Comme par hasard, je m'en doutais. Toujours pas sauvegarder, d'accord. Regarde. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Ok, c'est juste ici. On va plus se faire attaquer normalement. Ou alors à l'intérieur. 
par un gros euh, spectre. Genre spectre du midi ou spectre de minuit. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the Botchling to turn into a Lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Garde. Uh... Plus qu'à attendre. God's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. <laughs> Lead me to those bound to you by blood. <rire> Plutôt elle vole. Ils auraient pu changer l'apparence quand même en train de un couvain. Quel dommage. Faut que je le suive à pied ou comment ça se passe Parce que je crois savoir où ils sont, mais ils sont loin quand même. Hein. Désolé, j'ai pas le temps. Je trace ma route. Ah, je serai ici. Ah, je m'en peux plus où est exactement le village. Il est peut-être pas si long que ça. Le 
Така. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something. Je te suis ma petite. Que tu es une fille. Ça fait méga bizarre. Hein. C'est quand même triste hein, quand il pense une personne qui n'est pas née condamnée euh, si on l'avait pas aidé elle serait condamnée à manger des femmes anciennes des fœtus morts et à tuer son père Calmer d'accord les putréfacteurs. Ils sont un peu nombreux là du coup. Shoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Yeah, Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Allez vas-y Sommelard, enfin Sommeillard. Je te suis mon petit, ma petite plutôt comme j'ai dit déjà avant. M'en fous. Faut pas chier. Ah oui voilà, nous sommes au vieux, à l'endroit où ils sont. Ils sont ici. Les tourneront une ou deux trois fois. Une et deux. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Ok alors. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere is better than to crow's 
perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. The moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara lured him, brought food and salves. We're poor than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods. Okay, je sais quoi, c'est un fil. Horns and two burning coals for eyes. Je crois que ça fait long. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? They, well. Like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Mm. Burned like a cattle brand. Oi, no, these was a black scars scabbed over. Ouais, ok, bah c'est les marques de la dame de la forêt. As if they burned with raw fire. A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her, Mrs. Anna. Gods, she to Crookback Bog. Donc c'était bien elle. Gods of all the heavens protect us. It's clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Euh... D'accord, merci pour votre aide. Thanks for your... The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? <laughs> I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay. Merci, Sommeillard. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Alors, le plus proche, où est-ce que c'est? C'est le plus proche, c'est là. Donc Oxenford, je l'avais déjà vu, Anna. Euh, où exactement je l'avais vu Oh d'accord, elle est là-bas. Ouais, donc finalement je vais être obligé de passer directement... Euh, enfin... Tout d'abord euh, chez le euh, 
chez le baron. Parce que je ne peux pas rentrer au Xenfort. C'est ça le truc. Faut que je parle au baron pour ça. Je sais où j'aurais pu directement aller là-bas, mais bon. C'est pas grave. On va parler au baron de sa famille, et ensuite on s'arrêtera là. Ça fera une plus courte vidéo que d'habitude, mais c'est pour optimiser la... L'espace de mon disque dur. Pour que la prochaine vidéo soit, soit plus longue. Faudrait vraiment que je pense acheter un nouveau disque dur spécialement pour les vidéos genre hein, 2 Tera, 2-3 Tera. Ça je serai tranquille euh, quand je filmerai. Je regarderai le prix et je vous, je vous en reparlerai euh, bientôt. Je crois que pour 2 euh, Tera c'est... Euh... Non je crois que 1 Tera c'est 60 euros, un truc comme ça. Qu'est-ce quel est le but de la vie des ancêtres Je passe un peu ces dialogues là. Qu'est-ce que j'y gagne D'accord. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You not refuse the Pelan you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey to fight Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. J'ai déjà un, un téléporteur jusqu'à l'île de Fike. D'accord, donc on, on fera celle-là dans la prochaine vidéo, je pense. Remember me. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. D'accord. Euh, Est-ce que je suis en train de retourner en arrière là Oui, je suis en train de retourner en arrière. <rire> Le bug. What is it That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Sauvegardons. Je peux pas sauvegarder, mais c'est une blague. Là je peux sauvegarder quand même. Voilà. Donc j'ai cherché là dans le pays, il n'y a rien d'intéressant. There you are. See the hollyhock there. The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zerikania, but Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss, it must hurt bad, but there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now, not anymore. It was too late, that was clear. Should have acted earlier, taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole, 
This Reesty Meyer. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it voilà, le sauf conduit. My God. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damn hard. Ça permettra de passer le Pontar euh, et euh, Oxenfort. What have Anna learned anything? We'll talk about her. Don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. But not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Mon petit lapin, petit lapin. Ready? 
Bon, on va le faire quand même ça. On va quand même le faire ça avant d'arrêter la vidéo ici. Allez go ouais, Alors voici, désolé pour cette petite ellipse hein. Pour jusqu'à la fin de la jusqu'à la fin de la vidéo quoi Est-ce qu'on doit l'affronter C'était la question. Eh ben non. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this, never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. <sighs> Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. 
For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay, I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things, too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Your wife is with the crones as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. and thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? She made a pact with the crones, and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. Mm. We had a deal. 
I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we were! Eh bien, nous allons nous arrêter là. Et oui, j'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu. N'hésitez pas à laisser un commentaire, un j'aime, surtout s'abonner à la chaîne. C'était Toasted. Pour un jeudi bon HD, passez une bonne journée, une bonne soirée et vive les jeux vidéo.